So the AC on the Cutlass is running hot. It's uh, blowing hot air, so not really sure what to do about it um, because it's a R12 system and R12 is Freon and Freon now because of its ozone depleting properties is illegal and they don't use it anymore. They've converted to this newer 134A. However, there is a replacement for Freon and I found a kit online, so we're gonna give it a go. Recharging your AC on your 85 Cutlass Supreme, or pretty much any car 1994 and older, still using the R12 system. We'll see in a week how it holds up. See those startups, boys. Guess who's sharing more? Huh? We'd like to say thanks. Thanks for sharing your savage day. All right, we're gonna try and recharge the AC today with this, uh, R12A replacement. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the system works fine, but it's just empty. So I'm gonna dump a can in here because I noticed that the clutch doesn't come on the compressor when I turn on the AC. So we're gonna find out, hopefully, hopefully it's a low pressure lockout and I get some refrigerant in the system and it jumps up. But uh, I'm gonna turn the AC on right now and see what the gauge says. Uh, AC's on full blast, still at nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and add some refrigerant. Oh, so the compressor, uh, the clutch is starting to engage on the compressor, so that's a good sign. I've emptied one whole can of this shit in there. That is a very good sign. So we're gonna put another can in here because it was completely empty. You can see when the clutch engages the temperature, or the pressure drops dramatically, so. Good sign so far. Very happy right now, very happy. Did not think that I would be getting, it's even ice cold right now, it's on normal halfway and the car is, my leg is cold. Like it's literally cold right now. This is unbelievable. $60 recharge, how can you beat that? Guys, I'm gonna put the link below for this if you guys wanna recharge your old cars, man. This is amazing, easy to do.